All right, well, I'm gonna get this started. And we, like I said, we are recording the video. And Jeff Gethart has over 25 years of experience providing residential construction, energy efficient programs, design, marketing, and implementation for Vermont utilities since 2000 for Efficiency Vermont, which is Vermont's statewide energy efficient utility. Over his career, Jeff has worked with architects, builders, and home buyers helping build, renovate, and certify homes to high standards of energy efficient and sustainability. Since 2008, as a chief cat herd of the Vermont Green Home Alliance, Jeff has led this informal volunteer alliance of construction and real estate trade association, working to attain market transformation, meaning value for sustainable buildings by dramatically increasing building performance, education, and information sharing with real estate professionals, appraisers, lenders, MLSs, and realtors. So take it away, Jeff. Thank you, Christine. Um, I really want to thank uh, the Association of Vermont Credit Unions, Joe and Christine, for the opportunity to uh, speak with you about uh, the energy efficiency services for existing homes that are available here in Vermont. Again, I'm Jeffrey Gephardt with Efficiency Vermont. Um, existing home services aren't my uh, strongest um, uh, uh, capability here. Most of the time I've been uh, working on residential new construction, but as we branch out into getting value for efficiency, um, it's really important that we have uh, are making an impact in the existing home market since that is the lion's share of the housing market uh, and sales here in Vermont. Um, in talking about existing homes um, with realtors, I routinely ask them, do they ever suggest that a seller paint their home before they list it? When I ask that question, I do it every single time I teach a, a real estate continuing ed class. All the hands go up. Yes, they do this. So the follow-up question is, uh, how much does a paint job cost? Well, it, that response will vary depending upon where I am in the state, but it generally starts at around $8,000 and goes up. So I ask people to think about that $8,000, keep that in their mind, $8,000 and up, and we'll get back to it. I also ask them if uh, they pick up listings, and I'll ask you if you've ever asked to finance a home that appears to have significant energy efficiency or comfort issues. Um, these are pictures of real homes in Vermont. Uh, and I think it, it, well, I ask, wouldn't it be nice to have a way to help borrowers fix such homes? You know, we have this old housing stock, but it'd be nice to be able to help them fix such homes by financing improvements. Uh, the holy grail for us on the efficiency side would be at time of sale. Now, Efficiency Vermont has existing home services that are do-it-yourself services. They have a menu of things one can do. You do three of those things and there's a $100 rebate. But I really want to talk primarily here about the comprehensive professional energy upgrades that Efficiency Vermont supports uh, provides through the Home Performance with Energy Star service. Home Performance with Energy Star is a U.S. Department of Energy and EPA program. Comprehensive um, professional upgrades are important because if we start changing, making changes to our building's thermal shell, it can affect the other systems in the home. For instance, tighter air sealing um, requires more ven effective ventilation to avoid moisture problems, mold growth, to flush out uh, the volatile organic compounds we bring into our home, in our grocery bags, on our shoes, on the dog, what have you. Um, we need to control uh, moisture. We want fresh air for occupants in the home. Um, so taking a whole building approach to weatherizing has the biggest impact on lowering your energy bills, and it boosts comfort in a safe and healthy way. It's not okay to improve the efficiency of the home if we make that home an unhealthy living environment. We have to be cognizant of that and get both the efficiency, but in a safe and healthy way. 
So that's just a screenshot right now of the uh, cover uh, page or the entry page uh, for Efficiency Vermont's existing homes home performance with Energy Star service. Um, you can see that uh, successful completion uh, in Efficiency Vermont's service will bring up to $4,000 in incentives or rebate payments to the participant. Um, that um, we've got a, uh, a new uh, service uh, or new incentives coming up July 15th of 2020, and that will increase the total amount of savings or of incentives that are available to participants. But within this service, um, a home owner would need to, um, to uh, hire a contractor um, and uh, have that contractor test the home, identify what it needs, and then provide a scope of, of work, and then test the home afterwards uh, to document the savings. And the incentives are based upon the, the, the savings achieved. Now, um, building science training, diagnostic tools, and testing ensure that the Building Performance Institute certified contractors that you would hire in this service are targeting the real problems that are specific to each home audited and to address the comfort issues uh, of the homeowner themselves. Just a couple of pictures of some diagnostic tools, the blower door on the right I'll used to measure air tightness an infrared imaging picture on the, the left showing uh, hot air leaking into an attic space as an example. So we were literally try to uh, test the home or we do test the home to identify exactly what it needs. So on Efficiency Vermont website, you can go here to find a contractor. Um, popular searches for contractors are listed on the side. I wanna talk a little bit about the uh, EEN members. EEN is the Efficiency Excellence Network, and the members there are a network of independent contractors. They're committed to providing customers the highest level of professional energy efficiency services. Um, they're experts in the advanced technologies and the building sciences that make buildings more energy efficient and affordable to maintain, more durable. They're also trained to understand and consider key health and safety measures uh, important to any job. There are a number of different types of contractors. They include heating, ventilating, and air conditioning contractors, builders of new homes, commercial refrigeration, what with the heat pumps that we're seeing these days. Uh, insulation and air sealing is very important to this with existing homes, and of course, electrical contractors as well. The network provides access to exclusive efficiency Vermont incentives and low or no interest financing on projects. Um, and then it provides the uh, contractor with training on efficiency fundamentals and specifications or specialties, I should say. Um, and it provides them with access to additional support, uh, exclusive support from efficiency Vermont. Um, the audits, um, the uh, documents from the contractors can vary by contractor, but I think a good um, example of what people can get from contractors in summary here um, is a listing, shows a listing of the scope of work, the projects over on the far left side, what each of those improvements would cost, the measure cost, um, you can see it's totaling up in this particular project, about $7,200. The annual energy savings um, forecast based upon the energy audit and completing that work. Um, and many of the contractors will provide savings broken down by the thermal savings, the millions of British thermal units saved per year, or the electrical savings, kilowatt hour savings. And some as well will provide annual carbon um, savings, uh, you know, showing the reduction in, in carbon footprint in the far right column. So let's say you've got a family interested in an existing home that's priced at 250,000, and it looks like it could have some energy efficiency and comfort issues. Let's take a look at their mortgage payment. Now the example here um, was, I was helped by a, a loan originator down in the uh, Atlanta region who's very progressive in, in uh, promoting efficiency. 
we proposed we use a 5% down payment, a 30 year fixed rate loan with an interest rate of 3.875%. I know that's a little high, about a half a percent high for what I was seeing when I went online and looked yesterday. Uh, but I think it's worthy of just using this one in, at this time. Um, we're in pretty strange times right now. So let's add the energy costs and explore what happens if we include the average range of home performance with Energy Star improvements within. To do this, um, we created a, we, we took a representative sampling of participating homes and they had an age, age ranging from 31 years to 200 years uh, in existence and sizes ranged from 1,122 square feet to 3,720 square feet. And just kind of a list on the side shows you the kinds of uh, homes, what, what uh, we see, which is pretty much everything out there under the sun in Vermont. And as we looked at this representative sampling, we discovered and saw that these homes were clustered around three levels of energy efficiency savings achieved. So we took those three ranges and we averaged them by bin or by bucket here. And they came out around 23% savings achieved, 34% and 44%. So what I like to talk to people about is the total cost of ownership. And total cost of ownership is more than PITI. It's PITI plus E, energy. But if we take a look at the total cost of ownership and the monthly cost, because monthly payments are how people generally consider what they can or cannot afford um, versus a total amount of, of a loan. How much is it per month is how people tend to think about it. So the monthly mortgage payment for this home uh, is shown in green, $1,117. And the monthly average for utilities for the homes, um, we're showing here at $424. So this would be fuel cost and electrical expense. So let's take a look. This is the unimproved home with a total cost of ownership when we add that energy in of $1,541. So the average cost of improvement for the homes achieving 23% efficiency gains is $8,400, right in line with the cost to do a paint job. So if, if it's something I feel, for instance, if it's something that a, a realtor might recommend on the paint side, why not recommend an efficiency improvement or have an audit done so that the scope of work is there and the buyer can see what it would take to make that a, a more comfortable, viable home. Whoop, we're going the wrong way. So $8,400 average cost of a 23% efficiency improvement uh, based upon the representative sampling we've had. So it increases the cost of the mortgage per month, decreases the average utility costs per month. You can see the total cost of ownership per month going down, a savings of $35 per month. The 34% efficiency improvement was costing $11,800 and change on average. So again, we're seeing a reduction in total cost of ownership and an average savings per month of $95. The 44% Deeper dive in the efficiency improvement, $12,573 was the average cost for folks that achieved that. Again, total cost of ownership down, savings up. And then the final example here, what we do is we're showing the 44% efficiency improvement plus a solar photovoltaic system, PV system added to the home. That's an additional 15,000 in this example. Um, so the, again though, the total cost of ownership per month is going down, the savings is going up. So the whole idea here is that, geez, if you can help that buyer improve that home, um, the mortgage goes up, the earnings to the credit union go up, but the total cost of ownership for the homeowner actually goes down. That looks like a pretty strong win-win to me. 
So this is happening across Vermont, uh, just a couple of testimonials uh, to show here uh, from people who have gone through home performance with Energy Star, a particular couple in Bennington saving $600 per year. This uh, gentleman in Middlesex, $750 per year, a couple in Cuttingsville, $1,800 per year. Um, it's having an impact across the state. Um, existing homes with weatherization work that has been performed since 2011 through 2018. Um, you can see that there's a significant number of homes that are going through this process. The state of Vermont has a goal to get 80,000 homes weatherized. So we have a long way to go here, but the uh, service is working in, in all across Vermont. Uh, we just need to ramp it up significantly. So the inventory exists out there. These homes are coming up on the market. Uh, in fact, a lot of times when I sat at the residential new construction desk, uh, what I would find is people who had done significant weatherization and caught the bug. They wanted then to sell that home, market what they did to it, and build a new home um, that was even more efficient. Um, so I thank everybody for uh, the Association of Black Credit Unions and the audience. Uh, Can and I ask a few questions, Jeff? Yeah. Okay, so yes. Efficiency Vermont wants to get 80,000 houses weatherized over the next how many years? I believe the 80,000, it's in the Comprehensive Energy Plan for the state, and I believe the 80,000 is by 2030. 2030. And 2030 now, or 2050, but I think it is the earlier. We're, we're well off the pace there. Right, yeah. No, I mean, Efficiency Vermont does a good job, um, you know, helping consumers. Now, how much is it, how much would it cost a consumer for Efficiency Vermont to come into the house and inspect the house for efficiency? The audits are the Contractors that do the audit work are independent. That's a very good oh. question. It's one I should have mentioned. Uh, so they set their own rates. It isn't, you know, I hear ranges uh, three, dollars $350, $400 up to $700, dependent upon the complexity of the home. A ranch home is going to be easier to audit, take less time to deal with than a big old Victorian and bay windows and, and multiple places where building problems can live. Um, and again, uh, there are times too where the incentives go up and down. Sometimes the incentive or the rebate covers part of the cost of the audit. NeighborWorks of Western Vermont, who serves territory, I would say that's broader than their name describes, will often run audit uh, deals uh, around $100 for an audit. Wow, that's really good. So the idea here is to, to take away the guesswork. You know, people often think, let's do, let's replace the window. Well, windows are actually, uh, there may be some good reasons to replace it, but an energy savings is not the reason. The window costs too much. You're never gonna get your money back on that kind of improvement. You may improve the comfort, you may have some moisture control benefits, uh, but you're, um, you know, it's not gonna provide big bang for the buck in terms of energy savings. So we use the diagnostic tools, the Building Performance Institute trained auditors, and, and especially those that have the extra efficiency excellence network credential. Um, they go in and, dis and listen to the homeowner what are your problems? What do we need to fix for you? Because we don't speak quite the same language. They're talking about comfort issues and drafts around their ankles or moisture in the windows. So we have to decide what their needs are, test the home, see where those two things are in alignment and, and make the scope of work address those problems. So Jeff, a quick question for you from me. Um, from a, a credit union or a lender perspective, um, 
you know, the, the numbers that you were referencing of the amount of savings based on different levels of energy improvement in a home and whatnot, and the total costs going down and whatnot. Um, given the, the environment that we're in right now, uh, all, all the virus impacted economy and whatnot, and, and maybe it hasn't been long enough for you to answer this, but what are you seeing, if anything, for more recent trends affected by this economy? Do you see people um, pulling back on these kinds of investments because of the perceived upfront cost? Or do you see more people inquiring about it because they're more sensitive to reducing their monthly costs? Um, it's a bit premature, and from where I sit, right. uh, I'm not at a great vantage to answer that. Um, our biggest concern right now is the ability to do blower door testing. Um, there are, you know, we, we have a lot of times we can work in a building, but um, at, at the level of uh, guidance and distancing guidance that exists right now, uh, but the blower door is of concern at the moment. I can tell you a surprising thing that I see this is nationwide. Uh, the largest renovation kind of activity right now is building decks, exterior decks. Mm -hmm. We're making exterior decks uh, larger so that we can be outside with our friends at greater distance. I, I would imagine that, um, you know, dependent on somebody's financial resources, um, that um, if they already have a mortgage, given the low refinancing rates, that uh, the combination of the low mortgage rates today, and depending on where they were already, um, and wrapping in and whatever level of energy improvement like you were referencing in the interest of getting reduced monthly energy costs uh, would be attractive to a lot of people right now if, if they happen to be in the right position to do that. Yep, yes, and, and we need some things to go well there. We need people, we need people to get their audits done. Mm -hmm. we, um, we need lenders to ensure that um, the appraisers that they are hiring are knowledgeable and trained and effective in measuring value um, for the efficiency features or uh, renewable energy in the home uh, to, to help with that process. You know, I, I spend, when I talk to lenders, I, I spend probably about 50% of my time talking about what they might consider or what their problems are in their own homes and about 50% talking about what, um, from a professional standpoint, what the credit union might, how they might interface with this. And as I think I mentioned to an energy specialist, um, the holy grail is finding a way in a refinance or in a purchase of getting this done, um, you know, while that financing activity is happening. Um, it's very difficult to uh, buy the home and then go through that winter and realize that you've got a lot of issues and then go in for additional financing. That's, that's something that's awfully hard for a lot of people to, to be able to do. Right. Uh, and also, roll it in at the beginning, that, that can really work effectively. And I mentioned a loan originator down in Atlanta. Um, he is very tuned to what the average costs of their home performance with Energy Star projects run in Atlanta. And so he pretty much thinks about that extra $8,000 from the get-go. He asks the loan applicant, have they worked with their utility program? Um, have, were they considered? He makes the referral. Uh, and if they get that audit done, then he'll roll that into the mortgage and he winds up with a, a better performing uh, a mortgage uh, for his institution and a much happier, much more comfortable buyer. It's got a, a lower total cost of ownership. Hmm. That's very interesting. Well, we appreciate your time, Jeff. 
And like I said, this is recorded, so we're going to be sending it out to the credit unions for them to view. And you will be doing another um, Zoom meeting on Thursday. Yep. Yep. It looks like you've got a great series of these coffee breaks, and I hope they work well for you.